What up, big kids? Here's your big New York Comic Con 2011 Square Enix display. So here's their New York Comic Con, or San Diego Comic Con exclusives, the red versus blue uh, Spartans from Halo Reach. I thought about getting these. Uh, it'd be cool because I do love watching red versus blue. It is hilarious. There's the Master Chief that's going to be coming out. It was available there, but unfortunately because of having issues trying to get back my stuff to uh, California, it was hard because uh, I bought the exclusive there, which I'll show you in a second. But that Master Chief looks amazing. I definitely can't wait to get that. And there's the Spartan uh, 5 Halo Reach um, exclusive that I did pick up and I will be reviewing. Uh, Play Arts, Kai figures are absolutely amazing. There's the boxes. Um, yeah, I really can't wait. Um, the Halo Reach ones, I thought about getting the Reach ones, but I had to spend like, you know, 50, 60 bucks on them. The team would be a lot when I already got the full team in the McFarland toys, plus I can have them riding like, you know, freaking, um, you know, Warthog and stuff. But the Halo Reach uh, figures, if you are into the 10 inch figures, they're amazing, you know, with Cat, George, Emil, you know, Noble Six, you know, um, June, all of them, Carter, you know, uh, they did the whole team, they look amazing. Definitely, like I said, if you want more detailed, bigger, uh, articulate figures. These figures are the best. I do wish that they were in the uh, one six scale. And then there's the Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker, and Sneaky Snake. Uh, what I really loved about this display, as you can see here, you got Snake hiding in their box. Classic Snake. You gotta love that. Uh, Hot Toys are going to be doing this, but I thought about getting this because I do like Metal Gear Solid a lot, and these figures are amazing. I know Solid Snake in my pants uh, picked these up. But absolutely, it's amazing. Uh, you know, I'm. Um, I just love the look of these. You know, I got the Devil May Cry ones, the Bayonetta ones, the Resident Evil Five ones, and you know, I, and on uh, the Final Fantasy Thirteen ones. And um, here is the Deus Ex uh, Human Rev Rev <laughs> Revolutions. I can't say this. Oh no, um, these are the Final Fantasy ones. Uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Um, there's Cloud. Very cool. Uh, a lot of the different Final Fantasy uh, characters they've done. Of course, you know, since Square Enix makes the Final Fantasy games, of course they would do these. And uh, like I said, they, they put a lot of love in their Final Fantasy characters. They look absolutely gorgeous. And here's the Final Fantasy 13. These are like their mini figures. I forgot the proper name of these. But these figures are very cool. They don't have much articulation at all. But they're mini and you, know, you can build your little team, you know, from like, you know, different Final Fantasy games, which are very cool. Uh, like I said, uh, they look great. Uh, the, uh, people are into minifigures. So we really dig these. You know, I really love the aesthetics that they are going for. You know, all the great hair. There's lightning. Uh, can't wait for the Final Fantasy uh, 13 2. Hopefully, you get to play this for more, but I did play a little bit of it at New York Comic Con and I gotta say if you love Final Fantasy 13 you'll definitely love the new one just where is uh uh where's snow because you know I like snow and he's with Sarah and Sarah's in the game here's the bleach figures and yeah bleach um if you're into the anime you definitely love these figures they looked uh awesome you know I don't know much about bleach but from what I see here uh they look great you know and yeah, definitely, you know, play arts is chaos. And there's the the human, uh, the Deus Ex Human Re Revolutions uh, figures. There we go. So it look great. I haven't played the game yet, but I will. Um, I, I have a lot of games, you know, on you know my list right now that I have to play. But they look great. Like I said, it's really cool that getting figures from them. You know, they they're really good looking figures. Now, one thing I'm super excited for, as you know me, because I absolutely love the game, they're making Batman Arkham Asylum figures, and the two they announced at New York were the Armored Batman and the Harley Quinn, and that's going to be awesome. So I'm really excited for that. And, of course, the two that are coming out in the next couple months here are the Arkham Asylum Batman and Joker, which... Got to see here and with all their accessories, they look absolutely amazing. I already got the Mattel ones and the DC Dark ones, but these look like they'll probably be the best figures out of the bunch. Look at the detail. The articulation on the Play Arts figures are amazing. Unless Hot Toys 
can do Batman Arkham Asylum City figures, this will probably be the best ones. Even though I know the scale is a little off, I like that these come with you know lots of different accessories, and I can't wait to, um, to have them in my collection next to my other play arts figures. That Joker, wow, look at that Joker, just looks amazing. I, I love that head sculpt, uh, just the paint apps, uh, just spectacular. Also, um, Final Fantasy 13 2 with the new Sarah. Looks great. Um, only one so far. We'll probably get more since it's Square Enix, and you know that's their baby. And of course, the Street Fighter figures, which I got on pre-order. Hadouken! I really like it. You can display the Hadouken. That's something I've been wanting in the Street Fighter figure. I got the Nickel ones and the Play Arts. I mean, uh, the um, Jazzwear 334 Finch ones, but these ones, they said, look absolutely amazing. The articulation. I think... Uh, once I get these in my hands, I'll see how they are. But the Neko ones are super articulated. So, well, what do you guys think of the new Play Arts uh, figures from Square Enix? Uh, check out BKBN.net for more New York Comic Con 2011 coverage. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Newnham in a big way.